It's been a tight squeeze at George Washington High School for the past decade, and it's about to get even worse. At today's faculty meeting, it was announced that procurement and design completion have delayed renovations to upgrade 17 of the school's classrooms for science, technology, engineering, and math education. According to Sodexo Guam Inc. project manager Tracy Higuera, the timeline for the project is 60 days. The earliest possible completion date would be in October. The project can't be postponed to next summer because all era money must be obligated by September. With only six weeks left until the start of school year 2012-2013, teachers were presented with two options. A ninth grade academy that attends classes at the interim Antelon Middle School in Teton, while upperclassmen attend classes in Mangilao, or double session with itself. Upperclassmen in the morning hours and ninth graders in the afternoon. Assistant Principal Sophie Duenas. We ask ourselves these questions. How do we fit 2,700 plus students in only 85 classrooms? We have 102 classrooms, and if we take away 17 because of the STEM classroom construction, then we only have 85. Uh, what type of scheduling can accommodate this population? Can bus operations accommodate our needs, and how long will the new schedule affect us? Duenya says double session is a more viable option, as moving to Teton would impact bus operations, require moving equipment and textbooks, and splitting school staff. It would also mean coexisting with the Antelon Wildcats. GW ninth graders won't have access to the gym, meaning there would be no need for PE teachers. There also just isn't enough room in Teton to house close to 700 incoming freshmen from GW's feeder middle schools. They have only 13 classrooms available when their teachers are not sharing classrooms. If their teachers share classrooms, they will make available 20 classrooms for us. Our ninth grade academy needs 27 classrooms sharing. So that's even more than what Antelon can offer. Double session would modify instructional time to 80 minutes per class, as well as mean impacts to bus operations, staggered hours for support staff, possible night differential, increased energy consumption, custodial challenges, and limited fundraising for school clubs and organizations. Teachers at today's meeting were encouraged to voice other possible options, which included checking the Guam Community College for classroom availability, temporarily moving select villages to Southern High School, and a three-day school week where upperclassmen attend Monday through Wednesday and freshmen attend Thursday through Saturday. A majority of today's survey teachers voted in favor of double session. A stakeholder meeting for GW parents and students is scheduled for Wednesday, July 11th at 5.30 p.m. in the school's gym. Ultimately, the final decision would depend on busing, but GW administration has yet to receive a response from the Department of Public Works. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.